Welcome back. Today is day two of the GPAC softball tournament with Morningside and Northwestern still alive after one day of action, but both needing to win out today to advance to the championship round. Morningside facing Doan, who eliminated Mount Marty in the early game. Bottom of the second, tied at three, bases juiced, and Morgan Nixon clearing them. Grand Salami clearing the bases, and that'll put Morningside up seven to three. Top of the third, Mia Barroso freezes the batter out. The strikeout looking ends the side. Four Ks for her on the day. Bottom half, Josie Schnackenberg picks up one of her seven strikeouts, but the damage was done for the Tigers. Morningside goes on to win it seven to three. As for the rest of today's action, Northwestern unable to get the upset over number 25 Midland after the Warriors got the walk-off winner in the bottom of the seventh to end the Raiders' season. Then Morningside in their second game of the day, unable to shake those Concordia demons as the Bulldogs defeat the Mustangs for the second day in a row to end their run at a GPAC crown for nothing. Morningside held to just two hits and will hope to be an at-large bid for the national tournament. Today was also day one of the GPAC baseball tournament and Morningside and Briar Cliff getting the first round rivalry fired up in a Charger 12 to 1 win. Propelled by a sixth run fourth inning that just blew it open for the Cliff. Jacob Wesselman pitching a complete game for the Chargers, giving up seven hits, getting 10 punch outs. Briar Cliff moves on to face top seed Concordia tomorrow at 9 a.m., while Morningside will face Hastings at noon in an elimination game. Meanwhile, Northwestern in the Doan bracket, coming up short against the host school. After forcing extra innings, the Tigers get the walk-off run in the eighth, take it seven to six. Raiders will face North will face their opponent tomorrow in a noon elimination game.